Welcome to Salt Lake City. Wow, that's a delay. Do you it's hear a that? A little bit of a delay, yeah. That's weird. Huh. It's like a movie. Hey, AV guys, can you work on the delay? Wow, that's trippy. Let me try yours. Hello? Yeah, it's just as bad. Just power through it, man. Hey, uh, we just want to say thanks to our sponsors, Domo, all the other sponsors. We couldn't do this without them. Um, also, I just want to give a shout out to all of our night owls in the audience. Yeah, getting up at the ungodly hour of 8.45 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Next year, we're starting this thing at noon. Starting later. <laughs> so welcome. We have an often, awesome conference planned. It's going to be amazing, but we're going to just gonna jump right in. So, so glad you're here. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming. We got three days of great talks. Uh, trust me when I say that we had a really hard time picking talks this year. And it's just like keyed us into, it's just exactly how brilliant the Angular community is. And I don't currently use this script when I give talks, but we're going to talk about something really important that we needed to focus on for the next three days. So um, I'm gonna use this script, so forgive me. Can we skip to my slides? Okay. We're gonna talk about something that affects all of us, so I need everyone to uh, pay attention for the next few minutes. So no matter where I go, um, I've always felt special. Um, whether I'm at an event in London, in Amsterdam, in Mexico City, or whether I'm here at NGConf. The community's always been a fantastic community and they've always treated me great. And for the last four years, I've been honored to be a part of it. And one of my favorite parts every year is getting together with you guys, with friends. And with our Angular family, because that's what we are, we're an Angular family. And I speak for myself and my co-organizers when I say thank you to the people here, to the people on the live stream for really making NGConf what it is. It takes a lot of effort. We put a lot of effort into planning this event and um, we're really proud of, of what we've done. This year's gonna be perfect. Uh, we're not gonna have any Wi-Fi problems and uh, no one's gonna get the flu. So um, it's gonna be awesome. Each year the, the show gets bigger and we try and add to it. We try and make it more interesting for the attendees. It certainly makes it more interesting for us. And this year we've, we've focused on something that's really important to us. We focus on our code of conduct. And there's a lot of talk about uh, when we talk about our code of conduct. And you're gonna hear a lot about it over the next few days. You're gonna hear in between the talks, you're gonna hear from us, the MCs, and you're gonna see all the reminders in the halls. We hope you've seen them and appreciated them. Um, the reminders that each of us plays a really important role in the Angular community. And I wanna define what a code of conduct is. Um, for me, it was a term that popped up a few years ago, but now it's a term that it's really important to me. So when an organization gets uh, to a point where they decide to formalize uh, the acceptable and unacceptable ways that they're allowed to treat each other, that formal description of their behavior, what's acceptable in that community or that organization, is called a code of conduct. And each organization that creates a code of conduct can either adopt one that's existing or they can create their own. And in NGConf, we've created our own, which is a compilation of the great um, code of conducts that we saw as we looked around the internet. And we've also tailored it a little bit for, for our needs, for our community. And if you wanna read the code of conduct, and we need everyone to, it's on our website, and it's also on the app, the NGConf app, in the App Store and the Play Store. It's also printed up in the halls. And it's important that everyone reads it because everyone here is expected to abide by it. So the speakers, the attendees, the sponsors, the organizers, this year we even brought in our vendors, asked them to read it and to agree to it. It means all of our entertainment, all of our food vendors, our security team, and the rest of the vendor staff is abiding and expected to abide by this code of conduct. So why did we amp it up? And this is, this is where I have to be frank. And we're not starting off um, too great this year. We had some code of conduct violations in the past. And, um, and it was tough. And some of the people that were here in the past aren't here today. And I want to talk about two types of those people. One type is people who have been explicitly uninvited from participating in NGConf events. And the other type is people who didn't feel welcome 
and didn't feel comfortable here with us. And that's got to stop. That's something that we mean to change. Everyone here plays a role in that, and we invite everyone to participate with us. And over the next few days, if you see anything that violates the code of conduct, we invite you to, to with us, roll up your sleeves and get involved. We've, we've made three ways to report a code of conduct violation. The first way is to find one of the friendly conference staff. So that's anyone in any of the, one of the organizers or anyone in the red NG Help t-shirts. We all know exactly what to do if anyone approaches us and says, I need to report a code of conduct violation. We'll take you to a place that's safe where we've set it apart and we can talk about what you saw and we can begin to resolve the problem. The second way, because we know some people want more anonymity and have a hard time talking about it, is through email. So if you email us at info.ngconf.org and explain to us that you're reporting a violation, we ask that you provide as much information as you're comfortably um, providing to let us know how we can, can uh, to help us fix the problem. And the last way is by calling the ngconf code of conduct hotline. If, um, if anything's urgent or after hours, this is a great way to get a hold of us to help you out in a moment that you might need it. Once you've reported a code of conduct violation, we've established a team, a committee, that's prepared to make a decision on what we do next. We wanted everyone to be fairly represented in this code of conduct committee. It's made up of speakers, attendees, sponsors, and the organizing team as well. We want this team to jump in and make decisions in the case that there's a code of conduct violation, and they're currently ready to do so. If you want to understand more about the code of conduct committee, if you go to the code of conduct on page two, we explain the process that they go through in making these decisions. NGConf team, we want everyone to feel welcome. We ask that you participate with us and pay attention to the needs of one another. If you see anyone that's alone or perhaps struggling, we ask you to get involved and play your role, an active role in the community. NGConf, we want it to be a place where everyone can feel welcome. It's more than an event, it's a community. And we hope everyone can feel as loved and as welcome as we have through these last four years. So it's now with great pride that I get to introduce the Angular core team, Stephen and Igor, to give us our NGConf keynote. A round of applause.